Hey everybody, this short presentation covers the appropriate use of your calculators when you're doing calculations that involve numbers in scientific notation. When I first started teaching chemistry 15 years ago, I noticed that a number of my students were making errors, uh, not because they didn't know how to set up a problem, but actually because they didn't know the appropriate way to use their scientific calculator. And whether that's uh, a calculator that's a little bit more simple like this one, or a fancier version, uh, there is actually a, a correct way that you should be entering numbers in scientific notation to your calculator. We're going to take the number 6 times 10 to the 23rd and divide that by 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, we should be able to come up with an answer for this even without using our calculator, right? Because any time that we divide a number by itself, the answer that we get should be 1. So let's perform that calculation using a, a strategy which is very common among students. However, it is an incorrect strategy. So let's key it in 6 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 6 times 10 to the 23rd. And calculator tells me that the answer is 1 times 10 to the 46th. So we just tried to do this division problem using a common strategy that I see a lot of students use, but we got the totally wrong answer, right? I mean, 1 times 10 to the 46 is not the same thing as 1, which we had predicted earlier uh, should be our answer for this. So why did this occur? We need to break it down and understand what your calculator is actually doing with these numbers. Let's look at how your calculator would be handling those numbers. So we're going to do uh, 10 to the 23rd. That gives us 1 times 10 to the 23. I'll multiply that by 6 to get 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Divide by 6 gives an answer of 1 times 10 to the 23rd. Then I'm going to multiply that by 10 to the 23rd. And you'll see that I'm finding that same answer, 1 times 10 to the 46. Your calculator is going to handle these numbers differently than what you might expect. It's actually going to do this first. It's going to take 10 to the 23rd, uh, so we'll find uh, 1 followed by 23 zeros. Now the next thing that your calculator is going to do will be this step right here. It will take the 6 and it will multiply it by 1 times 10 to the 23rd, so we'll find 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Then it's going to divide that by 6. It's going to treat this as its own number. Uh, so it'll go back to 1 times 10 to the 23rd. And because this was already found to be 1 times 10 to the 23rd, it'll multiply those two values and find the answer of 1 times 10 to the 46, which we know is incorrect. When we use that incorrect strategy, we are essentially telling our calculator to work with four numbers. So we can break it down like this and say A times B divided by A times B. Let's put in some real numbers and see what happens here. So I'm going to put in 6 for A and 4 for B, so I'll do 6 times 4, divide by A, which was 6, and then multiply by B, which was 4. 6 times 4 will give 24, divide by 6 will give 4, multiply by 4 will give an answer of 16. We know that we're trying to divide 24 by 24 to get an answer of 1. So how do we fix this? There's a couple of different strategies that we can use. Algebraically here, I can change my order of operations by using parentheses. If I do 6 times 4 to find 24, and then 6 times 4 to find 24, and then divide those two values, I'll find the desired answer of 1. We can do it this way on our calculator. There's another strategy that we can also use on our calculator, which is actually going to be the easiest of the methods. One way to get the correct answer is by using parentheses in my calculation. So I need to use parentheses, and then I'll do 6 times 10 to the 23rd, close the parentheses, and then I'll divide by, and I need to use parentheses again, 6 times 10 to the 23rd, close my parentheses, and now get the correct answer, uh, which should be 1. Let's look at a final technique that's really going to cut down our keystrokes and, and uh, make this process a whole lot easier. Uh, so here we go. Are you ready? We're going to do 6 second EE -E 23, which means 6 times 10 to the 23rd, and I'll divide by 6 second EE -E 23. This means 6 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Enter, and you'll find that the answer is 1. 